The Brewster Buffalo, often dismissed as a failure during World War II, has an overlooked yet fascinating history. Though its poor performance in the Pacific Theater is well documented, what's less known is its remarkable success in the hands of the Finnish Air Force. Today, we'll dive into how this fighter, despite its flaws, played a crucial role in an unexpected theater of war, achieving legendary status in Finland. The story of the Brewster Buffalo is one of adaptation, skill, and the right conditions, revealing a side to this aircraft often forgotten in aviation history. The Brewster F-2A Buffalo was designed in the late 1930s as the U.S. Navy's first monoplane fighter. At the time, it was a breakthrough, featuring an all-metal frame, enclosed cockpit, and retractable landing gear, a leap forward from the biplane fighters of earlier years. The Navy chose the Buffalo after a competition, but while the plane looked good on paper, its real-world performance soon lagged behind. As it entered service, the Buffalo began to show signs of being too heavy for the nimble dogfights that were becoming more common. The addition of carrier landing equipment and increased armament weighed the plane down even more, leading to a sluggish and underpowered fighter. The plane's weaknesses became glaringly evident in the Pacific, where it faced off against the agile Japanese Mitsubishi Zero. In combat, the Buffalo's lack of speed, maneuverability, and poor climb rate left it vulnerable. Pilots reported that the plane struggled to match the enemy in dogfights and was ill-suited for the harsh tropical conditions where engine failures were common. Its operational history in the Pacific, especially during the Battle of Midway, cemented its reputation as one of World War II's least effective fighters. However, this is only half the story. In stark contrast to its failures in the Pacific, the Brewster Buffalo became a highly successful fighter in Finland during the continuation war against the Soviet Union. Finland purchased a number of B-239 Buffaloes, which were denavalized versions of the American plane. Stripped of their naval equipment, these Buffaloes were lighter and more suited to Finland's cold climate, where they avoided the overheating issues that plagued their tropical counterparts. Finnish pilots already battle-hardened from the Winter War, adopted aggressive tactics that capitalized on the Buffalo's strengths. In dogfights, the plane's excellent turn radius allowed it to engage Soviet aircraft effectively, particularly in close quarters combat. The Finnish Air Force made small but effective modifications to improve the plane's performance, and the Buffalo became a deadly adversary. Flying Buffaloes, Finnish pilots claimed over 500 Soviet aircraft for the loss of only 19 Buffaloes. With an impressive kill-to-loss ratio of 26 to 1, the Buffalo became a key component of Finland's defense. The Buffalo's success in Finland highlights the importance of context in military aviation. In the right environment, with experienced pilots and tailored modifications, the Buffalo proved to be a reliable and capable fighter, standing in stark contrast to its Pacific reputation. Several factors contributed to the Brewster Buffalo's success in Finnish hands. First, the plane's maneuverability, often criticized in the Pacific, became an asset in Finland's air combat environment. Finnish pilots faced Soviet aircraft that were often less maneuverable, allowing the Buffalo to excel in dogfights. The cold weather of Finland also played a role, as it alleviated many of the engine overheating problems that plagued the Buffalo in tropical regions like the Pacific. Additionally, the Finnish Air Force's strategic use of the Buffalo helped maximize its effectiveness. Finnish mechanics worked tirelessly to maintain the aircraft, often making improvements to its airframe and engine. Finnish pilots also had the advantage of being familiar with their enemy, allowing them to develop tactics that exploited the weaknesses of Soviet planes. These factors, combined with the Buffalo's reliable armament and long range, made it a formidable fighter under Finnish command. The Brewster Buffalo's legacy is a tale of two extremes. While the plane is often remembered for its poor performance in U.S. and British service, particularly in the Pacific, its success in Finland tells a different story. In Finland, the Buffalo was not a failure, but a symbol of resilience and effective adaptation. Finnish pilots, mechanics, and commanders found ways to make the most of this often overlooked fighter, turning it into one of the most successful aircraft of the war in their hands. Today the Brewster Buffalo stands as a reminder that aircraft performance is often relative to the conditions in which it operates. In the right context and with the right tactics, even a plane deemed inferior can achieve greatness. Finland's use of the Brewster Buffalo is a testament to the importance of adaptation, skill, and perseverance in military aviation history. The Brewster Buffalo may not be remembered as one of World War II's most celebrated fighters, but its story in Finland is a unique and compelling chapter in the history of aviation.
from a plane widely considered a failure to a fighter that earned legendary status in Finnish service, the Buffalo's journey is a fascinating reminder that sometimes success is all about being in the right place at the right time.